Good. There's a school of fish just showed up. What's that? There's a school of tuna that just showed up. Is that right? Yep. They're right up right under us. You having fun? I am now. Good on you. I haven't hooked any yet, I've only just seen them. I'll get your lure out. tuna here but I can't catch them. They're leaping around all over the place. But can't get them interested in these damn lures. I've got a livey out as well. That's not working either. I found what they want to eat and that's all they're going for. on the bait jig line. Snapper around. Yummo. It's going to taste damn good. There's something with a bit of size here. It's very lethargic, whatever it is. So I'm guessing it might be a ray. It's taken a live bait. I hope it's not a turtle. It's coming up though.
And East Geelong here at St Albans Reserve. Live and exclusive on 94.7, the Pulse. Bolton and Symes. Symes gets, tries to get a second tap. Sean Lewis on hands and knees as well. Ricky O'Toole in there also dumped to the ground, so the umpire. And he'll take the first free kick of the 2012 Grand Final. Looking to play in his first play in his first premiership ever. Ricky O'Toole. He goes long. Addy comes out. Murphy behind. Dryan Coy meets it. Bowman over the top of it as well. Deep into East Geelong's attack. McNamara through the middle as well. He drags it back in then tries to get rid of it. Pack develops just inside 50 for the Eagles. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. Cameron sitting across the top. McNamara's there as well. Last to get up. Hands the ball back to umpire Chaston. We'll have a ball up. Big uh, pack around the ball. Holes find on Ricky O'Toole. That's interesting. Bolton, Symes gets it down, tapped on, back towards Ricky O'Toole. There's Sean Lewis as well, back towards half forward for them. Ricky O'Toole keeps his feet, handballs it nicely. Popel gets it to Robertson. He's out at half forward. He goes long towards uh, Murphy. They're going to put one back in front of him by the looks of it. And Moreland's the one who might uh, just lag off a little bit from the middle and just hold it up. He takes the mark, back pocket, oh, short little kick. He's OK. Urquhart takes it, last line of defence, right in front of the behind post. In the right forward pocket, southern end of the ground. He chips the ball over the top to Hulls Fine. He takes it. Still only 30 out from the East Geelong goal. He chips it further afield. This is what they do. They work themselves out. McNamara. Now he switches and goes to the outer side. It's a good kick too. And they've uh, tapered off nicely. And he takes the mark. True half back for Bell Post Hill. This will be the difference there. Just waiting their turn. We'll kick it along the line if they need to. He goes now along centre wing. Big pack there, Bolton in front, front of the pack. And ball spills free, tapped on again. Barton's there, can't pick it up. Popel's in there also, working hard for East Geelong. Handball, shuffled out. Lachlan coming through as well. Little toe poke for the Panthers, gets it forward. Comes towards Vetter in front of Tarr. Uh, Tarr keeps his feet. Now can he get around? Oh, he's ripped off. That's dropping the football. The umpire says play on. Fantella gets it around the corner. Play on, still at half forward for Bell Post Hill. Northern end of the ground. And pack develops. At 50, we'll have a ball up in Bell Post Hills attacking zone. We've played two and a half minutes, no score yet in the grand final. So uh, an interesting start, Grubby. Hard at the footy, and that's what grand finals are about. Exactly. <coughs> so umpire to put it in the air, half forward flank for Bell Post Hill. Nice tap down. It's into the arms of uh, Ricky O'Toole. He kicks it to the middle of the ground, straight in the arms of Sean Lewis. Lewis now to full forward. Numbers with East Geelong back there. Chamberlain just sees it over the boundary line. And we'll have a ball in five metres from the behind post. So both teams in the first three minutes have had uh, an opportunity in the forward line to score. This is Bell Post Hills now. Ball in, up high. Ball comes down. East clear it out to uh, Mark. Not taken there by Moreland. Attack the footy. Chalice, Moreland. Two great players together in there. Ball paddle along for Bell Post Hill to kick out of the pack to full forward. Ricky O'Toole in front of the pack. Yeah, he'll he get a, free. a free kick for uh, <laughs> interfered in with infringement over the shoulder. So Ricky O'Toole in the last line of defence for East Geelong. Decides to go wide towards half back. Kloster can't take the mark. Comes forward. Verbus on the <coughs> favoured left foot towards the boundary. It stays just inside yeah. the field of play. He's kicked it 50 metres. And it's out of bounds and, uh, deliberately. That's ludicrous. Come on, Grubby. We're, we're playing absolutely ridiculous. We're playing Thank country you. footy, Grubby, not AFL. <laughs> Can't, don't believe that one. The ball's gone back to McNamara for Bell Post Hill. Between wing and half forward. On the boundary. Kicks it further along the boundary. It's a lovely kick. And uh, coming in there, almost taking...